So if my radon levels are below 200, I'm good? Yeah, Hmm. This is the AirThings Wave Plus, a smart indoor air quality monitor with radon detection. Before we look at what it does, let's start with why you want to start measuring the air quality in your house. Today, an average person in the Nordic spends about 90% of its time indoors. We're called the indoor generation. Our houses are built more airtight than ever, and in fact, the air inside can be up to 10 times more harmful than the outside air. Scientists even say that poor indoor air quality is the leading cause of headaches, allergic reactions, dry skin, and poor sleep. So should you be scared? Maybe. You should at least consider checking the air quality in your own house. Let's have a look at the different things the Wave Plus can measure. First of all, radon. Radon is a naturally occurring radioactive gas that comes from the soil. And the reason why you want to measure radon is because it's considered the second highest risk factor for lung cancer after smoking. <laughs> radon levels fluctuate daily because of wind, air pressure, cold weather and shifting soil. And it's therefore recommended that you measure radon continuously over a year to get the full picture. Radon is measured in Becquerel per cubic meter. In newer homes, levels above 200 becquerels per cubic meter recommends action. In older homes, 400. Also, if you have a room or an apartment for rent, some countries may require you to document the radon levels. And the Wave Plus can help you set up a radon report. Next on the list, TVOC, short for Total Volatile Organic Compounds. In other words, the total amount of any emitted gases coming from toxins or chemicals. Pollen, cigarette smoke, perfume, air fresheners, cleaning equipment, fumes from paint, etc. Generally speaking, things that aren't good for you and your lungs. The Wave Plus also measures carbon dioxide levels, which will help you understand how much of the oxygen in a room that's been used up and probably tell you that it's time to open a window. Last but not least, it measures humidity and temperature, two things that are also affecting our everyday well-being. The levels are defined by the World Health Organization and are therefore internationally recognized. To help you understand what's good and what's not good, AirThings will display them together with a color code from green, obviously good, to red, bad. You can also get an immediate level by waving to the device. It's very easy to get started with Wave Plus. Just download the AirThings app and follow the simple process. Everything you need is in the package and you can either mount it on the wall or leave it on a shelf or cabinet. Once you've turned the device on and synced it with your AirThings account, it'll start gathering data immediately. You'll need to give it some time for it to gather enough data to see actual levels. One last thing, the air quality may vary from room to room, so if you want to do a full health check on your house, you may want to consider more monitors. In that case, the Wave Mini measures humidity, temperature, and TVOC, and it's a smaller and cheaper option. Whether you feel there's too much dust in the air, if it's too humid, too dry, there's always something you can do about it. An air quality monitor from AirThings won't give you better air quality, but at least it will provide plenty of data for identifying long-term risks in the air you breathe, so that you can do something about it. Hey man, did you let air? I think we need to get out of here now. If you liked our video, hit the like button. Remember to subscribe to our channel. If you want to read more on the AirThings, you'll find some links in the description. I think I need some air. See you guys later.